Good morning, I'm Kelly from CompTIA, and today we're talking about the differences between CompTIA's Pentest Plus and CEH. I'm joined by a couple of guests. Patrick, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, yes, I'm Patrick Blaine. I'm the Director of Product Management for CompTIA Cybersecurity Certifications. That includes a Pentest Plus, and I have over 20 years of IT experience. Thanks, Patrick. And Jessica, you're new to the game. Do you want to introduce yourself to our viewers? Sure. So my name is Jessica Kotmeyer. I am um, the Senior Manager of Product Marketing, representing the learning products. So I oversee all of the training and learning options for CompTIA certifications. Awesome. Thanks, Jessica, and welcome to the broadcast. Now, before we get into all of the details today, first and foremost, Make sure you comment with where you're tuning in from. We love to see all the far-flung locations that our broadcast makes it to. So for the uninitiated, let's start with a general overview. Patrick, can you tell us a little bit more about CompTIA's Pentest Plus and why it matters? Sure. A Pentest Plus is designed for IT pros who identify, exploit, report, and manage vulnerabilities on the network. So penetration testing, it's also called ethical hacking, but I'm going to go into more of that in a bit because there are some differences. Um, you know, essentially, it's used to identify vulnerabilities, so weaknesses on a system. So that's your goal. Um, and how do you do that? Well, you do that by attacking it. And so it's a means of troubleshooting and designing a more resilient uh, network. And so, you know, what the, the, the thing with pen tests, pen testers is they're really uh, legal hackers. They're hackers with permission. And so we'll talk about that in a bit, but it's very good for finding the weaknesses on your network and fixing them before the bad actors do. Right. It's Hello? Sorry, I muted myself. So Jessica, <laughs> before we get into the next stage, can you explain a little bit more about the learning suite of products that you manage? Yeah, so um, CompTIA a couple years ago um, started developing learning products to go along with our certification. So for Pentest Plus, we have the full suite available now, um, starting with Certmaster Learn, which is kind of the the basics, everything you need to know to prepare for an exam, learning from square one. Um, so from there, we recommend people use Certmaster or CompTIA Labs, which is the hands-on practice. So practicing what you just learned, um, putting, you know, putting into practice everything that you would be using from the exam into real life in on the job type situations. And then right before you're ready to take your exam, we have um, Certmaster Practice, which kind of goes through everything again and identifies weaknesses and gaps you may have had so you can go back and learn from the beginning. We really recommend that people use these in combination with each other because for different stages of the learning process, you have different needs. So we offer bundles which have different combinations of things and also include vouchers and a free retake. So that way you can proceed to the exam with confidence that you have everything that you need to pass the exam, at least on the first try, but definitely on the second try. Thank you very much for that, Jessica. And you can explore that at comptia.org slash training. You'll also find links for this in the description box for this broadcast. So let's get into this head-to-head -head comparison. That's why people are here. First up, Patrick, can you explain a little bit about the employable skills that people get from CompTIA's Pentest Plus. Obviously, we're here to get jobs. So what does that look like? Right. Well, CompTIA, all of our certifications are job role based. And so the job roles for Pentest Plus uh, would be around the three-year level vulnerability assessment and management professional, as well as a penetration tester. And so those two positions are in high demand right now. In fact, employers are still hiring for these positions. And we see the uh, US government, as a matter of fact, you know, gravitating toward them as well. Now, why is that? It's because these job roles, if you look at job ads, you're gonna find a lot of jobs um, available for penetration testing, and then especially vulnerability assessment and management. In fact, 
you're going to find three times more jobs for vulnerability assessment and management professionals. Um, the reason why is that's a more in-demand job. And so Pen Test Plus covers vulnerability assessment and management and penetration testing. That is actually because we cover vulnerability assessment and testing, we have a big advantage over a lot of our uh, competitors, for example. Um, if you look at the CEH uh, certification, for example, um, that covers uh, ethical hacking, but ethical hacking isn't technically a job role. Um, and so what, what is ethical hacking? Well, what it is, it's using uh, ethics so that you are uh, doing good as you hack. In other words, uh, you are hacking with unmalicious uh, intent. And so that's what Pentest Plus also does. In fact, we have you sign a code of ethics when you take Pentest Plus when you're at Pearson View Testing Center. And it states that you will not use the pen testing skills that you have learned uh, for you know uh, malicious purposes. Um, and so we actually have you sign that while you're taking the exam. Um, so it's very, very important. And we include ethical hacking in our certs. But then as the basis, we then teach these skills in vulnerability, vulnerability assessment and management and penetration testing because those are legal forms of hacking. In other words, you get permission before you do the attacks. In fact, Pentest Plus is considered a red team certification, which means you're on the offense and you might be battling against a blue team. And a blue team would be something you find um, with security analysts or our CYSA plus, which is the CompTIA security analyst certification. That's a blue team cert. And so what we'll, what we recommend in the field is that we'll have schools that are teaching pen test plus, for instance, and security plus the pen testers will attack the blue team. And then the blue team will have to defend itself and then respond back to the pen testers who are the red team. So it's an excellent uh, learning environment. And, uh, but that also gives you a very good understanding of the purpose of Pen Test Plus and how it differs uh, from other certifications. And certainly you've touched on the employability and you talked a little bit about how at the exam, whether it's in the testing center or online, you have to sign that voucher. So let's talk a little bit more about the test itself. How does Pen Test test beyond what you could have memorized? Well, that's another big advantage of Pentest Plus is that it includes both performance-based questions and multiple choice questions. If you look at the CEH exam, it's only multiple choice and it tests knowledge. And so if you look at the exam blueprint, I'm talking what's actually on the test, which is the CEH exam blueprint, not the training course. If you look at the exam blueprint for CEH, uh, you'll find it's a list of knowledge-based questions um, where you just need to identify steps um, that you might take as a, as a hacker. Um, but if you look at the Pen Test Plus exam, um, we include performance-based questions. And so what that means is you actually have to be able to perform the actions of a vulnerability assessment manager or a, a pen tester. And when you uh, employ those skills and are actually attacking uh, other systems, that's all hands-on. The job is hands-on. So why wouldn't you include performance-based questions on the exam? And that's why all CompTIA job role-based exams are performance-based. So you're actually going to be able to, um, in the exam, you may do things like operate OpenVOS, which is a vulnerability assessment tool. You might need to um, look at the output from that and be able to tell, okay, I'm going to analyze this. Where are my weaknesses? What does this company need to protect that's a valuable resources that I've found to have an open port that allows, for instance, uh, remote access? There are things like that that are incredibly important. And so it's all about actions. And so therefore we test on the actions and that's why we have performance-based questions on our exam. Uh, CEH does not. Uh, you actually have to go and take a second practical exam and, and pay more for that. Uh, and so we've really simplified it. As you can see, you get your, as I mentioned before, you sign a code of ethics when you take our exam. You take performance-based questions uh, when you take our exam. 
Um, and there's some other benefits uh, as well as I'll go over, but we also include the multiple choice question. So you can see there's a, you know, at least two more benefits I can think of right off the bat uh, that Pentest Plus would be an advantage uh, over CEH in that area. Uh, because with CEH, if you take it, once you've finished the exam, uh, then you have to put in some cert requirements. Um, uh, and then you also have to um, register for the uh, hands-on if you want to take it. Um, but then also you have to do a separate process to do the code of ethics, whereas we include that all in one. So it's just easier. And a lot of people take us too, because it's just uh, it, it, the steps are more straightforward to get the certification. And thus uh, people can have experience, get the exam and show they have the hands-on skills immediately with Pentest Plus and employers like that a lot. Well, and certainly knowing that the exam is structured differently and includes a different knowledge base. Jessica, can you talk a little bit more about the educational opportunities that CompTIA offers that CEH test takers may not have access to? Sure. So um, CompTIA's learning products are all developed, you know, to map exactly to the exam objectives. So that's why offering different products for a different stages in the learning process is helpful because they all work together and you know really prepare you for the exam and for your future career. We're just we're not trying to just give people the information they need to know for short-term retention so they can pass. We're looking for um, you know long-term career success and satisfaction. So um, you know people have different needs at different stages of the process. Maybe somebody has you know, prior experience and feels confident jumping right into the labs portion and maybe doing cert master practice after that to make sure they're ready for the exam. Or maybe somebody needs some, um, you know, the full suite of training from the beginning, learn the basics and build on their knowledge from there with cert master learn labs and cert master practice as well. So it's different options for whatever the learner needs. And like I said, when you purchase these products in, in a bundle where they're combined, you have the cost savings and security of having not only the exam voucher included, but a free retake as well. So if you were, you know, maybe missed it by a few points the first time, you can go back, learn through the materials again, brush up where you need to, and proceed with, you know, absolute confidence the second time. And that's a great segue, Jessica, talking about different ways that we provide to save. Let's talk about money. Uh, certainly, there are some differences in CompTIA's Pentest Plus versus CEH when you talk about cost. So, Patrick, show me the money. Let's talk about it. <laughs> well, fortunately, CompTIA is a nonprofit organization. And because of that status, we are able to charge a lot less for our products than our competitors. Um, as you know, with Pentest Plus, uh, EC Council is a for profit company. Uh, because they're for profit, uh, the CEH exam is far more expensive. Uh, for, for, for example, the Pentest Plus is um, $359 retail uh, versus $1,199 for the CEH voucher. And that is a huge difference. And we believe that to be you know, due to the fact that we are nonprofit. But not only are we you know, almost a third or a quarter of the price, uh, but recall that there's extra benefits of taking our exam as well, as the, well as you take the code of ethics and you get the performance-based questions. Um, and that's another reason that employers have been uh, drawn to Pentest Plus and why we're seeing its uh, impressive growth. And certainly we're talking about cost saving from square one, but Jessica, can you tell us a little bit more about the options that we've created to make this even less of a barrier entry to people who are cost conscious. Yeah, so we never want somebody to have, um, you know, financial concern when they're making decisions for their the rest of their career. So we have a variety of different price points for um, the different learning products, starting with um, eBooks that are are very low price that you can you can buy in a bundle with other vouchers, all the way up to the full suite of you know learning um, products and bundles available together. And for all those products, we offer 0% financing, and we're always looking for um, new financing options that will be available for people who are, um, who are interested in that. So you can look forward to more of those launching later this summer. But um, 
definitely check out our site because you'll see that we, we really try and make it as easy as possible for somebody to take this next step in their career. Thank you for exploring that a little further, Jessica. It is nice to have so many options for people so that, especially in this environment, they're not held back for, from pursuing a career that they're interested in. So final question for you, Patrick, is we've talked a little bit about the exam and so forth. How does the technical skills that are tested in CompTIA's Pentest Plus compare to EC Council's CEH? Well, there's certainly a difference in the way CompTIA approaches certifications uh, than uh, some of our competitors. Uh, we focus you know, not only on the technical skills, but you know, and hands-on skills, but also on the soft skills. Because what's come back to us again and again from employers is that they need soft skills. And especially in Pentest Plus, they're looking at people who are un who understand you know business processes because a pen testing follows very strict steps in its process, whether using the Lockheed Martin kill chain or the MITRE uh, attack models. Uh, you are following processes, and as far as business processes goes, you have to remember you're actually focusing on systems that affect the business and you're going to be testing those. And so you really have to make sure that you're not affecting active business processes if that's the case. So there are steps for preparing for your attacks that have to be taken into effect where you're working with a team and you're seeking professional um, guidance and you're seeking permission to actually be able to attack some kind of servers and so or, or systems and so there has to be um, you know some kind of uh, teamwork and coordination involved in that uh, so there's project flow that's involved you're part of a project team if you're a pen tester um, you need to know the best practices and the professionalism that is involved with working uh, with others uh, the ceh exam doesn't cover any of this it's just pure technical uh, with no hands-on uh, so it's more knowledge-based questions, um, whereas ours, as I said before, is, is performance-based. Uh, but it also covers a lot of scenario-based questions where you have to make um, you know, judgment calls and where you also have to be able to you know, know the proper skills uh, of working with others in a team. And so those are, are, those are skills, soft skills, that CompTIA uses at the very beginning of our cybersecurity career pathway. Because in the cybersecurity career pathway, it starts, as far as the first job role, with A+. That's customer service skills. So if you've gone through CompTIA certifications, you understand this well, that it is a lot about working in a team environment. One other thing I forgot to mention um, is that Pentest Plus on the cybersecurity career pathway, it's at the same similar level as security analyst, the CYSA Plus exam. I'd mentioned before that they're red team, blue team. Well, those are also follow security plus in the pathway. So security plus is really the springboard into Pentest Plus and CYSA Plus, red team, blue team, more advanced certifications. Um, so this is an intermediate based and it would follow security plus. That's the last thing I wanted to mention, Kelly. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. We went point by point on how CompTIA Pentest Plus compares to EC Council's CEH exam. If you have questions about this, make sure that you leave them in the comments box. We've been watching all of these throughout the broadcast, and we will be addressing all of these comments, questions, concerns privately once we get off the air. And certainly, if you want to know more about how you can train at home and test at home for any CompTIA exam in our portfolio, make sure you visit CompTIA.org. We have a ton of resources there, and it's our goal and our job to make sure that we can support you regardless of where you may find yourself. So until the next broadcast, stay safe, take care, and remember, we're all in this together. Thanks, everybody.